Joker and I broke up. I wanted a fresh start. But it turns out I wasn't the only dame in Gotham looking for emancipation. Spectacular news! Hi, I'm Mary Elizabeth Winstead. I'm Ella J. Bosco. I'm Margot Robbie. And I'm Journey Smollett Bell. And we are here and going to interview each other for our new film, Birds of Prey. Okay, I'll go with the first question. You're the first all woman, all women superhero movie squad. How did that change the experience on set? Anyone wanna jump in on that? Mary, you always give us the answer to this well, one. I have a little sound bite on this one. Um, I think, I don't know, I don't wanna speak for everybody, but for me, it was really refreshing and liberating because it was like the first time this has ever happened to me. Um, you know, I've worked with women before, I've worked with one or two female directors, but you know, I've never worked on something where every position of power was led by a woman in one way or another. Um, and it was really exciting and invigorating and just fun. Like it, there was no, there was nothing threatening about it. Like, oh, this woman is threatened by the other woman because they're the only women on set. <laughs> or, you know, right. like the times when women have been pit pitted against each other in that way. It was just like, we're all here to make something great and to support one another and have a good time. And it was like amazing. Well, <laughs> bravo. Good. Do you want to do the next question? Yeah, or did you want sure. to add to that one? No, no, I'll do the next question. The costumes in this film are incredible. Did you have any say in them? And did they affect slash enhance your performance at all? I loved the costumes. Our costume designer, Erin, is just Aaron. the coolest the we love woman in the world. She's and so cool. um, everything we tried on, I was like, okay, if this doesn't end up in the movie, please can I keep it? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't wear all the things that Harley wears at once, but I'd definitely on their own wear it. Mm -hmm. And how did it affect my performance? I mean, I felt like Harley because my clothes were, they looked very impractical, which is definitely how Harley does things. It's, it's not about practicality, it's about what's shiny and fun and what she wants to wear but actually like the costume department would make it so it was completely practical to fight in like yeah. stretchy bits here yeah. so I could kick higher or whatever or roll lower the heels or yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> cheat those heels all the time so yeah it was wild it was good what about you guys I had the pink cast and they gave me they sent me like two or three casts and I just drew all over them so all of the stuff mm -hmm. on the actual cast is um my art and then we just, I there sat there. There were some there. very rude words yeah. on there. <laughs> <laughs> I just sat there for for like an hour or two and they just made like 15 of them. So I do that, that, that was That, that was, was cool. That was definitely fun in that like, it was my Did you keep armor. one? As it was, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, good. Yeah. Do you oh, remember good. when you were cool. through those first shoes you had kept giving you blisters though? Do you remember that? Because mm -hmm. Ella's been growing at an alarming uh, rate yeah. this entire film. <laughs> <laughs> like literally you fit her for one thing and she's we, like three yeah, inches right. taller in a week and you're like, ah, oh, still growing. <laughs> yeah. We had, to have, we had to have multiple fittings because I jumped different sizes like every month or so. Oh and then we gosh. went back to do reshoots <laughs> and your shorts that were like normally Became, down like, to your knee were like shorts. Daisy Dukes. <laughs> I was like, oh God, we need to get a longer short. This is inappropriate. <laughs> okay. Um, what would you describe as fantabulous? Mm. You're you new oh, Thank yes. you. Oh yes. my yes. gosh. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I'm going with that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thanks, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that you and Mary are uh, matching. matching. We are. <laughs> I think bookends <laughs> were like the perfect Literally bookends identically. for this. No, really, when it. Nikki cut my hair out, I looked in the mirror, I was like, I look like Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, I love it. I've got the same haircut. And like, oh my God. <laughs> What's the trend? It's catching on. I just hope it was like a positive and not like, I look like Mary. No, literally, I, I said to her, because she cut me, she cut my hair and I wasn't in the mirror, so I didn't know what oh she was goodness. doing. Literally, I said, I trust you, Nikki. Give me whatever you want. And I walked in, I was like, I look like Mary. This is good. I like It'd it. It'd be so funny it. if we all just pulled up with a Mary hair. <laughs> Huntress was a ghost, so clearly. Oh. All right, speaking oh, of which, yes. you go. Okay, I'll go. Is there a side of yourself that you tapped into in order to play your character? And where did you draw that inspiration from? I think with Holly, it's always fun like to find your inner child and um, because she she has, she's not childish, maybe at times, but she's very childlike with her excitement and fascination with fun things. And um, that's always fun. 
and I could eat like a lot of junk food <laughs> in scenes, on top of the, out of scenes. Mm, so um, that's helpful. It's that's amazing. Always. I still have my teeth at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so much sugar consumed on this. Set. How many eggs did you have to consume? So many egg sandwiches. I've oh. eaten oh. so many duck eggs. Duck egg sandwiches. Duck egg sandwiches. I am there was duck that bacon. Was I am allergic to nice. chicken egg white. She, I wait, what? Okay, wait. Which is weird in its own, but they they give me migraines. There's a protein in egg, chicken egg whites that can give people migraines, wow. and I get it. And we wrote into <laughs> the prop people, like Andy was like, why did you write it into, you guys write it into the script that you're eating egg sandwiches if you can't eat egg? I was like, I know, it didn't occur to me at the time, but yeah, they had to make them with duck eggs. It was very Ooh, elaborate. Yeah, it was I know. delicious. That ate up all our budget, didn't it, Marco? <laughs> I know. Yeah, they were probably going to like air one every day. Get I love all the that it was just because you just wanted duck eggs. Just, just to be <laughs> right. difficult. Just I know. So glamorous. I said to them, I'm so sorry. I'm not difficult on any anything else. Because when they make you food on in scenes and stuff, they're like, a lot of people don't eat certain things or don't want sugar or whatever, so they have to make it all tricked out. But I was like, no, I eat absolutely everything except eggs, which I eat in a lot of scenes. Oh my god. You know, it's funny. You text or I texted you, and I was saying, you know, the pots told me we were eating duck eggs today, <laughs> and then you were like, yeah, it's just, it's just a migraine thing. I'm so was, sorry. I was like, wow, I ate like 50 duck eggs. They're not bad, are they? I know, they're pretty they're good. Really nice. Ooh. Good in cakes. I feel more sophisticated mm. now. Moving on. <laughs> and did you perform any of your own stunts? If so, what was the most challenging one? Mm. Yes. I saw you guys yeah. do all your own stunts. Yeah. I think everyone in this yeah. film yeah. did. And we trained Everything. pretty long, too. Yeah. What was your most challenging? That Axe kick, man. Sorry. Yeah. Um, that axe kick. That innocent is. I know. She's so the whole way through. <laughs> but yeah, I think the kicks in general because it made me um, have to become crazy flexible yeah. while tearing the muscle. It was this weird thing mm -hmm. of like every day they were ripping my muscles and then yet I had to like stay flexible and lean and strong. it was and strong and it was it was painful yeah. do you remember how shane used to stretch oh yeah do those stretches mm. on the walls oh yeah mm. i know it was brutal i felt for you because i i mean because you really it was all legs for you so yeah. all you were doing was like stretching and, and conditioning just go, and, yeah. and then he would tell me 10 more sec seconds and it felt like a minute yeah it was probably going good for way you, over 10 seconds. it looks good okay good it looks good. amazing it looks good yeah mm -hmm. what was your most challenging stunt do you think you have to do I that mean, knee slide, remember? Knee slide. I find them hard. Yeah, too. that that Some was reason. that was hard. But I mean, for me, honestly, it was fun. I don't, there were everything was so fun. I mean, the carousel that was the most fun. Oh god, the carousel. <laughs> 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 well, take us back. That, that, that was, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it looks I great. Don't know. For me, that was so fun because I was just yeah. thrown around everywhere. Yeah. It like was. for you, you guys were like. Punch and dudes. There's nothing fun about it. No, it was yeah. just exhausting and, and long because it was just so, you know, we had a lot of big long oneers, which is what yeah. was sort of unusual mm -hmm. about this film and the action scenes is that it required perfection from every single person involved. Yeah. Which was, it was such a ballet. It was like yeah, a really yeah. big dance. Being where violent you, ballet. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It yeah. <laughs> it was. Not to mention all the stunt performers like flying yes, and flipping like, yeah. and like axing themselves time yeah. after time mm. after time. Oh God! I know. What was your most difficult stunt? Well, the carousel was was tough. You know that was that mm. was challenging for all of us. I think for me, I have a sequence, a fight sequence on all these bouncing tongues. Oh yeah, you know? they were fun and to play. They were fun. They're when fun you're not doing fights, <laughs> this was like such a full body workout because I would have to be like sliding under it with and sort of lifting myself up with my abs and then pushing myself onto it with my arms and then jumping up with my legs and then you know so it was just like such a workout we um, have a new craze for you la um, yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the tongue workout yeah. or just that like sounded a... weirder than i meant it to um <laughs> is it sure that's already a thing. Is it weird? yes it felt weird the bouncy to tongue yeah. yes that still does getting that weirder sorry that's a getting wild i'm sorry i'm sorry let's move on to the next tongue someone do another question okay let me see margo as a producer on this film and getting to start it Getting to start it on your own, I can't read. What did you fight to include into this film, Margo? What did I fight to include? I feel like I fought to include so many things. Mm. Oh gosh, I mean, fighting for an R rating was mm. probably the biggest and first fight. Fighting to get everyone, 
it wasn't so, I mean, it was a bit of, it took a bit of convincing to say like, we can put a group of women on screen in an action film and it will work. <laughs> that was that was probably the first fight and R rated, that was, a, that was another fight. And then, yeah, lots of little things along the way. You fight for everything. You fight for a location you love. You fight right. for kind of like some sort of artistic choice that the, the creative group are fighting for, but it might not make sense on a financial side. And you've got to pick your battles because you've right. got to allocate funds in the right places. But um, ultimately, we, I'd say overall, got everything we want. And the thing is, when you don't have enough money for something, you then go back to the drawing board and everyone comes up with a really creative way to do it for less money and then it ends up being cooler than what you thought of mm -hmm. initially anyway mm -hmm. so it the parameters are sometimes a blessing in disguise mm -hmm. what's your earliest memory of going to the movies mm. george of the jungle mm. it's the first movie i saw in the cinema really yeah people always have a cool <laughs> answer like oh 2001 a space odyssey and God. i'm like george none of, of the my jungle. answers are that yeah highbrow yeah i feel like the one I can remember, I can remember going to see Home Alone, I think. That's a great first movie. Yeah, that's like great. My, I remember drinking like a ton, like one of those like sodas that was like this big and just mm. having to pee through the whole thing. That's mm -hmm. my name. Mm -hmm. I can't remember <laughs> if it was Lion King or Malcolm X. <laughs> Whoa. Not sure. <laughs> one Which the other. says a lot about my mother. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, I can't remember which one was first. It probably... Both good answers. Both were very, I was very young, and both m made a massive impact on yeah. me. Yeah. For very different yeah. reasons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Honestly, I don't remember what movie. I just remember the experience in itself, because I would always go with my grandma in Downey, and we would always sit in the very front of the theater. So I just remember neck cramps the whole time oh, yeah. oh. of like watching like whatever it was, like Minions or something. Yeah. And um, Oh, you're like, such a child! Oh, yeah. oh, my <laughs> goodness! You know what movie? Maybe that was out Sorry, not even yesterday. Sorry, not even, not even, maybe like, maybe like a princess movie or something. But that's still, We're that's princess still. and the frog! <laughs> <laughs> Keep it coming, <laughs> frozen! Was that your first movie? Oh, my God, darn. Goodness. Dude. I, mean, I, used to, I used to, I like loved the smell of going to, like the popcorn mm. so much. Oh my God, I love that. And so so I used bad. to go and sit at the cinema when I couldn't get a ticket or go see a movie. I'd just sit and watch like the trailers play on the big screen that plays outside and just sit mm. there and smell popcorn and do that for like an hour and a half instead of watching a movie. <laughs> okay, question. Yeah. When you go to the movies now, do you get snacks popcorn. Yeah. or no? Popcorn. Like, have you yes. ever gone to the movie Spicy. and been like, I'm good, I don't... I went to a movie last night and I snuck in wine. <laughs> and had yes, wine nice. and burger rings. <laughs> a beautiful combination. Um, burger rings are something from Australia, but they're yeah, my favorite yeah, thing in the whole world. Goes well with a Chardonnay, apparently, so... Mm. One time, my cousins and I, um, one of my cousins, he wanted sushi. So That's we, so, so we went to sushi and he said, God, we're late. Let me just get it all in a bento box. So we were like, pass down another hand roll. Like eating sushi while watching you, a movie. That, you it smells though. Like you've oh, got, you got to pick a food I've that never, doesn't smell. I've never done that. So mm. I mean, it was, my mom one time brought rice and beans and chicken to the movies <laughs> oh. and fed us all. It was great. My mom used to like, we'd always, if we went as a family ever, we did a few times, but she was like, we can't buy popcorn there. It's outrageously expensive. We'll make it at home. Yep. And, I, and we'd bring a Tupperware container in her handbag of the popcorn and we'd complain so much. We're like, it's not the same. <laughs> 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 Tastes healthy. I want cinema popcorn.